Loma Linda, California, where greater LA touches the desert, where the smog ends and the air clears. Here, the human population is doubling every single year. Steadily creeping into a place where rattlesnakes have made their homes for millions of years, the two collide with dramatic results. This is the front line, home of the Venom ER. Loma Linda University Medical Center may look like a typical hospital, but it's more than that. It's the center of a huge effort to combat the power of venom. Ralph Prado may look like a normal ER outpatient, but he's unique. A snake bite pushed him near to death, yet he still walked away. Come on back, got this bed. Luckily, Loma Linda is also the workplace of Dr. Sean Bush. Yeah, that looks remarkable. He's the nation's foremost expert in snake bite treatment. A professor taking his knowledge into the front line. An expert recognized at the highest level. To get all my Many people loathe snakes, but to Ralph, they're fascinating. And around here, it's all too easy to bring a snake from the wild into your house. But it's a risky idea. Ralph's story starts on an important day for the Venom ER team. The snake's out! The day he first met Sean. The rattlesnake held on for 15 seconds of pure agony. No one had dealt with a bite quite like this one. Stay with us, buddy. How's he doing back there? I'm still combative and I'm still The ambulance is rushing for the ER at Loma Linda. The crew suspect the bite is so severe it may be from an exotic foreign snake. Ralph's body is being swamped by the venom. Now, the Venom ER team is called into action. Sean Bush's expertise is on call 24 hours a day. He needs information on the bite and the snake from Dr. Dave Riley. He's actually having some problems. Uh, he's got the initial crow fat, but we've had problems with bleeding. Uh, he was also a difficult intubation. Uh, the paramedics tried in the field, but had some difficulty, so we were able to get the tube in here. However, like I said, he's having some bleeding from the sites where we put the lines in. He's also fighting with us a lot, so we had to restrain him to keep him from pulling all the tubes out. Oh, geez. Well, how many, how many vials of crow fat has he got? He got the initial six, and we're hanging another six right now. All right, well, let's, let's go take a look, see how he's doing. Hey, uh, Ralph? There's some question about the kind of snake that bit you. Was it the rattlesnake? Hi. For sure, it wasn't an exotic or anything. It was a rattlesnake, for sure. OK. We need to check I think it's pretty out. thin. Take a look here. You can see he's oozing from the fang marks here. He's got a lot of swelling in the hand, going up the arm. Still, still twitching all over. Can you see the fasciculations here? He's got them on his legs. They just look like worm-like movements underneath the skin there. This is the, the awful truth dawns. This, guy, this guy's really sick. This is the worst snake bite I've ever seen. Wow. We got to get really aggressive with the anti venom though. I'm talking like... How much? How many? How, what's the limit on that one? There's no, there's, there's no limit. I mean, usually a dozen vials are good, but, uh, you know, I think with this guy, since he's like the worst I've seen, I think two dozen's a good start. So uh, I'd get that up here. In fact, uh, if there's any way I can expedite that, I'll do it. If they want to send the vials up, and I'll hand mix it myself. John Bush is at the center of a team of 500 paramedics and pilots, scientists and doctors. They confront the problem, deal with the dangers, and try to understand this front line. 
they're faced with six different rattlesnakes, and each bite is complex and unpredictable. Every case requires a unique response. Mojave rattlesnakes have neurotoxins that attack nerves, preventing breathing. Southern Pacific rattlesnake venom can rupture muscles and destroy the blood's clotting agents. Sidewinders are supposedly less dangerous, but can still incapacitate a 200-pound man. Diamondbacks live within sight of the hospital itself. John needs to know when these snakes are likely to strike. So Deputy Sheriff Mike Cardwell feeds data on the Mojave rattlesnakes in the desert. And biologist Eric Dugan is striving to predict future collisions as snakes and people compete for space. We know so little that the field team make new discoveries every week. Throughout the summer snake bite season, emergency crews will rush victims to the ER in the shortest possible time. Part of the team at the Mojave Air Base, 90 miles north of the hospital, is Paul Romero, an international endurance athlete and paramedic. Still 15. This huge endeavor has been created to confront a split-second event designed by nature to kill. Ralph's body is now a battleground between the snake's venom and the ER's anti-venom. Sean needs both a positive ID of the snake and more anti-venom. There's a real danger Loma Linda will run out. So Tucson Poison Control Center is his first call. Well, I've got a really sick snake bite patient here, and he's just sucking up all the anti-venom we have. I'm wondering how your supplies are holding up. Well, uh, that's great. I was wondering if, uh, if we could borrow a few vials. Oh, that would be awesome. All right. All right, thanks a lot. OK, bye. Azure, can you get me San Diego poison control, please? At last, a deputy brings in the body of the snake that bit Ralph. A positive ID is vital for Sean's treatment, but this is not good news. The is okay. I think this is probably more dangerous than the Mojave rattlesnake. Sean is a snake enthusiast. He doesn't like it when a snake has to die, and he's amazed at the power of their venom. You can see the neurotoxins at work, and you can see the factors that cause bleeding, you can see the factors that cause swelling. Snake bites usually either cause neurotoxicity or bleeding and swelling. This He's got it all. That's from the Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Right now, it may kill Ralph. Getting worse and worse, huh? This reaction is off the scale. But every human victim has a different metabolism and reaction to the venom. Every bite is unpredictable, and every bite is different because venom will exploit whatever weakness it encounters. In the face of this, Sean has to decide how to save Ralph's life. At the hospital, he has state-of-the-art support, and the lab results show that Ralph's body is disintegrating. The venom is doing exactly what it was designed to do. This is, uh, this is Ralph's CK, and it's, it's fluctuating all over the place, you can see there. CK is a molecule that's inside the muscle cell, and as the muscle cells are destroyed and they rupture, they leak out into the bloodstream, and then this floods the kidney, and it clogs up the kidney. So we have to keep lots of fluids going so that we keep those kidneys flushed. Otherwise, he'll uh, have kidney failure, and he can die from that. But you can see here, first of all, he's kind of getting overwhelmed with CK, and then we give him lots of fluids. His, CK comes back down, but then uh, more destruction is happening in the muscles. He's leaking more contents, and he's at a peak right now, so we're going to have to give him more fluids and, and keep treating him aggressively. We're lucky we got him here because he almost, because of his airway, almost went around the community. You just take one bite, right? Yeah, yeah. just the only spot we could see was one puncture wound on his hand. So look at that hand, that other hand. Okay. The other hand's quite swollen. Heavy bleeding is one of the common effects of Southern Pacific rattlesnake bites. Ralph's blood is not clotting because this venom is destroying the very ingredients the blood needs to clot, the platelets. We're still having a lot of trouble getting his platelets to normalize. We're going to have to accomplish that by giving him lots of anti-venom, 
and transfusing some platelets. And when someone has low platelets, it means that they're at risk for bleeding, spontaneous bleeding, and he's bleeding all over. So what we need to do is we need to get this up into this range, and then uh, he'll do better. The treatment kicks into overdrive. To understand snake bites, Sean's team has to understand the snakes. See how tracking snakes in the wild can help Sean win the battles in the hospital when Venom ER returns on Animal Planet.